A few years ago, I discovered Lanzhou beef noodles. These are noodles that are handmade fresh to order, served in a 100 year old delicious beef broth recipe from Northwest China. They're so chewy and delicious, and today I'm showing you one of the places to get it in Sydney. Let's go eat. The first time was in Berwyn and there's like a chock -a block line. There's a full line there all the time now. So we're actually in Parramatta. They have a different branch and here it's a little bit more easy for us to film a YouTube video and there's not much of a wait. So let's go in. My name is Leo and this is the 1915 Lanzhou beef noodle soup. A Lanzhou beef noodle is kind of like traditional noodles from our hometown Lanzhou. It's the capital city of Gansu. We eat every day like breakfast. Every day? Yeah, every day, yes. Oh, wow. And since we work here, every day. <laughs> every day. So actually the name 1915, when this the noodles made start from the 1915. That's why we made the short name the 1915. Oh. We're here inside, we've got 1915 Lanjiao beef noodles. Apparently one of the oldest types of beef noodles that you can get in the world. It originated, I believe, from northwestern China. The main thing really is the broth, right? Incredible, incredible broth. Super flavorful, lots of seasoning, lots of you know, great flavor, and a lot of chili oil on top. One, one, one drink of this sit first, Sam, before we do anything. Nice, peppery. It doesn't take over from the actual flavor of the soup itself as well. Very warming today on this cold, rainy day. We also got a couple of other things. Uh, we've got this here. I believe this is like a tea egg. I actually have not eaten before, so keen to try that. And we got some cumin lamb skewers. One for me, one for Brian. Now, before we go into any of that, I'm just gonna have a bite of the noodles because these noodles, if you eat it as soon as it comes to your table, it's nice and al dente, right? These noodles here, they're hand put. When you come into these, you know, Lanzhou beef noodle restaurants, the interesting thing isn't so much the soup, but it's how they make the noodles. And for those of you who haven't seen it before, these noodles are hand put. So they get a dough and they freshly pull the dough again and again and again and again until they pull it so thin, it becomes noodles. And usually the noodles that you'll try are like machine made in Sydney. So hand pulled noodles are very, very cool. You can really tell the hand pulled. If you have a look at, uh, closely at the noodles, some of them are a little bit thinner, some of them are a little bit thicker. It has character, you know? It's not perfect. Now, Lanzhou beef noodle soup comes with these pieces of beef. Very tender. Good. Another thing that's good to eat as soon as it gets to your table is these cumin lamb skewers. So what they've done is they've skewered out, you know, I guess the best parts of the lamb. And while they're grilling it over charcoal, added cumin, lamb, spices and all that, which adds to the marinade. Hopefully, a really good one will melt in your mouth. I love cumin lamb skewers, man. <laughs> Got meat and fat and meat and fat. Probably not the, like the number number one I've tasted in terms of lamb skewers, but good to order wherever. Hi, thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm oh, goodness. Mm. Definitely a beef dumpling. Yeah, so the interior is just like really soft, tender beef and onions. Seasoned well. And those dumplings have a bit of soup on the inside as well. What about the wrapper? Huh? What about the wrapper? The wrapper? The wrapper? Oh, that's a good question. Not too thick, not too thin. Probably bordering the thick end, but not overly thick. Good dumpling. We're trying this. I believe this is called a tea egg. I'm a little ashamed to say that I've never eaten one before. Yeah. Hello. Oh, the reason why we're here. Oh, really? You make bomb ass videos. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it, man. Ten million thousand years later. All right, there we go. Boom. First try of a tea egg. It just tastes like a normal egg to me. <laughs> or maybe we lied, maybe it's just a boiled egg. You know what? Oh, oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this one's for you, bro. Brian and I just went to the gym together, so this is his protein. <laughs> this right here is my very favorite dish here. I like it more than the noodles. What it is, it's lamb ribs. I'm pretty sure it's deep fried first. And then it's fried in a wok with different spices. Once again, these are very good to be eaten and fresh, because seriously. Oh, they just melt in your mouth, man. Someone commented on one of my videos saying, I say man too much. Sorry, man. I reckon definitely muscle water here. Look at all that beautiful fatty goodness. Oh, look at this one, this one's fat. Oh. Mm. I don't think you'll go back to anything else on this menu. <laughs> Just eat it with rice. Maybe some kimchi or some cucumber salad. That would be delicious. Best thing here, man. And then this here, it's like a Chinese version of a donut, you know? 
you get that and then you dip it into, I believe it's condensed milk, deep fried, sweet, get some uh, condensed milk on that. Mmm, that's good. It's pretty much like those sweet breads that you find at Chinese bakeries, the Hong Kong style bakeries. It's quite sweet, it's quite sweet. Are you a fan of um, like sweet burgers? Even like donuts, they, they make burgers with donuts. I was thinking about um, putting this and that together. Oh, no. <laughs> YOLO, Sydney Food Boy channel, man. We out here making combinations, bro. Separately is better. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you so much also for 100,000 followers on Instagram. Uh, it means it means a lot to me to have you guys, you know, support me on this journey of eating food and trying new food around Sydney and showing you guys, you know, what Sydney's made of. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to the channel. Come with us on weekly food videos. Catch you on the next one. It is a beautiful day today, just like the person watching this. And we're going to try to find the best food in Thai town. Ooh, that's a yield.